All right, today's the day where I start reworking my home location. So this is where the um, only office was. And I had a bigger monitor. My actual uh, computer tower was here. I had all my top equipment, my SM7B, my Rodecaster. It was all here, but all went to the office. So now I'm setting up my home situation. Um, and I'm going to show you some of the equipment I got to fill my needs here. And uh, as I go, the different stages at which this desk starts turning into what I need it to be. So this is the current state here. I just have a, a riser. And uh, I went from a 34 inch uh, LG TV for a monitor down to the 17 inch <laughs> uh, laptop. But the key is the soundboard needs to be able to go underneath that, uh, but I need to be able to access the buttons to the top. So I actually got a mount that I'm going to show you here in a minute that's going to lift the computer up and tilt it down, and then I'll have some desk space to be able to uh, fit the soundboard. All right, so this is going to be the uh, laptop mount. Uh, that's going to be going on my desk. As you can see, it's going to give me some desk space here as this rises up. And I'll actually be able to get the, the monitor closer to me now that I will have this lift. Here are all of the pieces for the mount. Here's the tray. There's the swivel arm, the pole, the clamp. This is the back plate that will uh, connect to the tray. And it looks like that's another clamp right there. And then we have all the nuts and bolts and tools and all the little uh, doohickeys and whatchamacallits and thingamabobs needed to uh, put this together. This is the uh, space right here. It's gonna be clamping right there, coming out this way. And uh, it will open up a lot of real estate right here. Looking forward to see how this works out. The computer has been mounted. So uh, I had to kind of uh, redo my plan here. As you'll see, I put the mount to the left of the corner. And that was a way for me to get the computer further back. By putting it on the side, the, the arms in the back could fold better and then give me more clearance to get further in the back. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So here's the mount. This just slides right in on that. But I needed to get further back. So setting it up this way allowed me to push this further back into the corner. And when I originally put this here, this was like up here. And it was absurdly high. It was like my laptop was like <laughs> in the sky. So now that I feel like I'm in a comfortable spot for now, this could change once I get my soundboard up here next, but I've tightened everything up here. So it should uh, remain um, in this location, but there is some flexibility. I can still move it side to side or push it back and forward. Um, but I think mounting it right here is where to go. So as I'm cleaning up, I discovered that I got all this extra stuff and here's why. This was designed to either clamp or you could drill a hole through your table and use a grommet. I didn't need that option. So apparently all of this stuff was needed for that. But thankfully uh, I didn't need to do it this way and man, it was so much easier to uh, build it as a clamp. All right, next up, the soundboard. Here is my new soundboard. It's by Allen and Heath, it's a ZI-8. And I'm very new to this kind of board. And the reason why I went with this board is it's called a hybrid. And much like the Rodecaster that I'm using in my actual studio and what was in here in my room, uh, what these boards are good for is they're a mixer and they're USB. So they're also an interface. So I can, plug microphones in here. I actually have it set. I also bought this because it has an instrument input. 
so I can plug my bass guitar straight into here. And then you come out of the USB into your computer and then you can use whatever DAW that you choose. And then you have your headphone out. So I feel like this is the best option for me since now my home studio-ish, yes, my home studio <laughs> will, will be used for uh, meetings and working and recording my podcast and playing my bass guitar through here. So it'll do everything I need to do, uh, even for Zoom calls. That, that way on the, on the Zoom call, I'll have good quality mic sound and uh, it will just be multi-purposed hybrid soundboard. All right, this is what it looks like so far. This time I wanted to really get a feel of what this is gonna be like. So I put my keypad uh, where I would normally have it. I always like having my iPad to my left as another screen uh, and realized that with this under here, this had to come up. So I actually moved the laptop a little higher back here. It was probably right about there and I moved it up a few inches and it's now gonna give me that clearance to have mic cables coming out of here and to be able to reach and, and see what's going on. Cable management is definitely an issue. All right, now that the laptop is mounted and the soundboard is plugged in and in its place, now we're uh, gonna take care of the mic boom, star, uh, boom arm, microphone, SM58, and a windscreen for it. Before I mount this boom arm, I just wanted to show you how easy it is. It's two pieces. I'm just going to uh, put that in there, clamp it down and tighten it up. And that's it. And then you mount it. And what's also great about these is it comes with the XLR cable and it's already run through the boom arm. So it makes it a little less messy. Then it pops out right here. The microphone's gonna hang from there. You plug it in. It's good to go. It has been mounted. As you can see, it's now plugged into the board. The cable is hanging down there into this mess. It just added to the mess. Now let's get the microphone mounted. Before I mount the microphone, let's take a look at what uh, the microphone comes with. It comes with a nice little leather pouch and a clip. And I had to buy the, the windscreen pop filter separately. The microphone is mounted and plugged in. As you can see, I put the uh, pop filter on here. And now I have flexibility to move this around. And then whether I'm recording a podcast or I'm gonna use this if I'm on a Zoom call, but when I'm not needing the microphone anymore, it's just as simple as whoosh, sliding it over. Everything is in its place and there's a place for everything. If there's anything to learn from this, it's how to work with little space with mounting and tiny boards. Take care y'all.